la 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 Hey, it's noon time, and it's Wednesday, so that must mean it's hump day, and it's time for the catacombs here on the Sworn Nation. Greetings and salutations, everybody. I am your friendly neighborhood hooligan, and I'd like to welcome you to today's show. Um, for those who attended Sworn, uh, excuse me, not Sworn Fest, Phoenix Fan Fusion, what a blast, wasn't it? Um... We had the most amazing booth. We had the most excited people at a booth. And uh, we started a sing-along of Bohemian Rhapsody on the con floor. It was amazing. It was beautiful. Um, Jamie, uh, I mean, Jimmy, thank you very much for uh, getting that all put together. Uh, it was a lot of fun to watch. And to be honest, it was a really beautiful moment. I will say that is the most... Um, exciting moment I ever had at a con and I hope everyone was there to see it uh, either via video or there personally um, it was amazing magical show and it just was beautiful to be back doing a show in Phoenix Warm Fest was the warm-up and uh, here we are on to uh, Comic-Con International also known as San Diego Comic-Con so we're gonna have a booth there. So uh, if you're gonna be at that show, come party with us. We're gonna have some vault books. We are gonna have some exclusives there on sale. Beautiful prints, art books, and all the other fun shenanigans you can expect from myself and Brandy and Jimmy and Brian and Francesca. It's San Diego Comic Con, we're going all out. And it was really nice to uh, catch up with everyone at Phoenix also. Um, meeting everyone, finding out how many kids have grown up and uh, some of them have started college. It was really beautiful to see. Some of them graduated college, uh, kids graduating high school. Um, it was really beautiful, and it was really nice to see everyone sharing that together on the con floor, and it was really great to just be back, just to be in the mix of things, and uh, just to be around all you guys. Jason Jensen, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for your comment. Everyone at Coffin Con says hello. Um, thank you very much for being a regular. Um, Eric Hart, welcome to the show. Again, sorry my voice is a little gone. Um, did a lot of shout outs, uh, did a lot of screaming, did a lot of singing, and did a lot of shenanigans. So um, again, my voice is uh, gone from just me being the hooligan again at a show. Loud, obnoxious, and um, hooking people up with some really cool uh, Coffin Comics merchandise. And also, I want to thank all the big uh, reception we got from new readers. Uh, we had a lot of people that were second generation Lady Death fans come up to uh, check out our wares. Uh, they picked up graphic novels to get started into Coffin Burst. And um, it was interesting. I had a couple anime kids uh, tell me that they were uh, recognized Lady Death from the animated film that was done by ADD, uh, ADV Films back in the early 2000s. So um, everybody, um, we've got a new batch of, uh, and a new generation of readers and fans coming our way. So awesome, awesome. And um, I kept telling everybody that was new to us, you know, join our group. Uh, you will find an amazing uh, group of people to hang out with and people that are very loving and caring, you know, and I let them know that, you know, our fans are the best. So prove me right, because I have a feeling we got some new uh, fans coming our way. I'm really excited. It was great to uh, hear uh, feedback from people at the show that were picking up uh, the graphic novels for the first time and coming back the next day saying how much they enjoyed it and that they were picking up uh, the other graphic novels. And uh, one gentleman dressed as a Jedi um, he freaked out over our stuff. The show just opened. Pardon me. And he actually ran up. He bought a Lady Death statue. And he went through the vault and picked out some really beautiful covers. So I, I did not get the gentleman's name, but the cosplayer who was the Jedi at our booth on Friday. Dude, the Force was strong with you, and welcome to the club. 
Um, I'm really happy to see how things go out at San Diego. And like I say, everybody, not only do I enjoy doing these live shows with you, I also love meeting you guys all at conventions. So um, if you've been watching these shows or following us on Coffin Comics and you're new, come on down to our booth. We've got a lot of love for you, and we've got a lot of cool stuff to show you, and we're always down to get some pictures taken with you all. So it was great. It was a lot of fun. Um, man, I can't wait for the next show. Anyways, we just announced a really amazing offering on the La Muerta Primeval Kickstarter. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Horrible voice. I apologize. We have just dropped this following beautiful edition, all you Sun K fans. This is La Muerta Vengeance. This is the clown hollow foil edition. Sun K is the artist. $48 is the price. It is limited to 99 serial numbered copies. This is reward 15A or add on A25A. You guys get that in Canada, A? <laughs> oh, God. I got to visit Canada, by the way. Um, there's a lot of places in the world a lot of you uh, fans have been telling me about. And uh, I've met you guys all personally. And you know what? Uh, I'd love to visit Canada. And I definitely want to check out Australia. Uh, New Zealand and uh, Japan and um, the only thing that scares me about Australia is the giant spiders and the giant insects. Am I right or am I right? But I would definitely uh, love to hang out on that side of the world. Uh, maybe see what it's like to live in the future for a change. <laughs> Even if it is for a couple days. Uh, Gus Salazar, thank you for joining us. How are you, dude? Dude, um, I am feeling great. You know what? Uh, I got some rest after the show, Eric. Um, I've been losing some weight. I've been trying to keep my weight down um, and trying to keep uh, myself very healthy. And um, yeah, so far so good. I'm doing great, Eric. Thank you for asking. Uh, Jason Jensen, working on the colored books for the Kickstarter. Oh, oh. De -de 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 -de. Breaking news from Jason Jensen himself. All right. Also, uh, if you guys have any uh, questions on any additions or anything, or any questions at all, Jimmy is here to provide links for you and uh, to help you guys on your way. So, again, we just dropped the La Muerta um, edition, the brand new Clown Hollow Foil. Get it? I don't think it's going to last. Also, um, we announced that one lucky backer will be receiving, if you are a physical backer, you will be receiving an artist proof Lady Death seductress statue. Now, this thing is absolutely stunning. Um, our partners uh, who designed the uh, statue and released it um, wanted to say, you know what? If La Muerta tops, this La Muerta Kickstarter, La Muerta Primeval tops over 200,000, they will donate this to one lucky backer. So, this is your chance. Just for backing this campaign, let's take it up a notch. Let's go past 200. Let's surpass Onslaught and let's make Primeval La Muerta's number one Kickstarter. I challenge you. And not only that, we dropped a very beautiful Enraptured Metal, uh, metal Edition. Jimmy, if you could pop up the link. Uh, I forgot to grab the mock-up here. But it's an Enraptured Metallic Edition by Genevieve Brumall. Absolutely beautiful, very classic image. Uh, the last time we presented that uh, on a Kickstarter, it was a jeweled edition. So this is a metallic edition. Very beautiful book. Jay Taylor's watching everybody. What's up, Jay Taylor? Um, very beautiful edition. So we've got two new editions uh, to the La Muerta Primeval Kickstarter. Also, if you back this campaign and you're new backer, we're going to put your number into the cauldron and we're going to spin the jungle cycle wheel and you have a chance to win uh, two La Muerta Ashcan editions. There is a La Muerta one and a Tamara edition. So whatever the wheel spins is, you can get one of those each if you're a physical backer. And we are offering an original piece of Joel Gomez art. You guys seen it, it's absolutely beautiful. And we consider that part of our value proposition for our Kickstarters. Now other things we offer is free US shipping. We also offer free bonus items, including a new free comic that you get for physically backing this campaign. It's a little more to pin up book called Infinity Verse. And inside you will see some of the most beautiful art 
by Gold, Joel Gomez doing alternate versions inside the Infinity Verse of La Muerta. There are some stunning pieces, and look at that. That's a free comic we get you get for backing our campaign. Also, we've tipped in ten Azure uh, Metal editions to be randomly tipped in across all physical backers. Ten Golden editions we also have tipped in for uh, to back get. Uh, bleh, tipped in for all physical backers. That is also a part of the Coffin Comics value proposition. So everybody, back La Muerta Primeval campaign today. It is a tie-in with World War Death. Um, she's going into jungles to take on her own Reaper. And I really think you guys need to let people know this is a part of World War Death. We're going into the factories. We're going to find out what's going on in those jungles and what will uh, La Muerta do to stop this from the, all the other White Reapers coming through. Hopefully she's successful. You'll have to find out. It is World War Death tie-in. I'm excited, and I know you guys all love Death Apocalypse last year. Join us this year for World War Death. All right, so I've got some other fun stuff to tell you guys about a little bit later on, but I'm going to get forward to um, some fun things. I, uh, Brian and I picked up at uh, Phoenix Fan Fusion that we will be uh, presenting here on the Catacombs here in the future. Hope you guys like it. Um, I'm just going to say it. it's a fun classic chaos edition, so I'm not going to tell you what I got, but get ready and get prepared, all you Chaos Comics fans, because I got some fun stuff coming your way in a future show. All right, speaking of a fun show, let's see what we got here today. Scott uh, C. Chris, thank you very much for joining us. What's up, man? It's good to see you here. Um, thank you for joining the show. Jay Taylor, always beautiful to see you. Scott Phelps, what's up, man? How are you? I hope the week is treating you well. I hope this week is going by fast because I hope you all had a beautiful memorial uh, weekend. Uh, as you can see, I had a great time. Uh, it was great hanging out with the Sworn and the Fiends, so I've lost my voice. Anyways, I'm about to present to you guys some of the most beautiful additions I have for you today on the Catacombs. I'm going to start with something kind of juicy, something beautiful. How about Lady Death Moments number one, uh, the Source of Mystery Edition. This is a 9.8 Universal Grade Edition. Boom, this is the mystery edition right here. Available now, only 40 copies were published. And this right here is, whew, look at that. Publisher file copy ready for you right now. Also, another beautiful thing I have for the vault. This is the last one. These got eaten up during our Black Friday sale. This is Lady Death Masterpieces. Signed special edition, and this is number five. This is the only copy I have left from the vault, and that is up here now on the catacombs. Thank you guys for all joining me. <coughs> Godzilla, thank you. I'm going to try to, uh, my niece challenged me to do uh, Say Godzilla anytime someone sneezes because it's non denominal. So let's spend the trip. Okay, anyways, onward and upward. I'd like to present to you, beautiful viewers. Fans, we love you, and I love you the most of all. This is Evil Ernie Monthly, issues 4 through 10. One set available right now. I've got a set of these. If you are a big Evil Ernie fan or a Chaos Comics fan and you're wanting to complete your collection, here you go. Evil Ernie, Month, uh, Evil Ernie Monthly 4 through 10 is available right now in the catacombs. All right. Glad I found another one of these. This is absolutely beautiful. This is Evil Learning uh, versus Superhero set. It's got Evil Learning number one, Evil Learning versus the Superheroes uh, number two, and the number two variant cover. Now, I had one of these before and they got scooped up super quick. So make sure you refresh your buttons and jump onto the catacombs, coffeecomicshop.com. Jay! Oh, Jay, thank you, Eric. Thank you. Godzilla to you, too. <laughs> also, uh, thank you very much, uh, Eric Hart, for the uh, wonderful uh, messages you sent me over the weekend. 
All right. Are you ready? Are you set? Are you ready to go for the evil Ernie depraved set? It's evil Ernie depraved dynamic forces variant cover. It also includes depraved number one, depraved number two, depraved number three. Three. Yes. Have them here for you today on the catacombs. Bingo! La la la. Oh. Oh my. You go ahead and revitalize my computer. I can't wait to see. Make sure I grab the right stack of stuff. All right. Next up, I have. Oh, let's see. What do we have here? This is Evil Ernie Straight to Hell 1 through 5. This is all covers. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the standard covers. I'm going to get these all put in better bags and boards. Um, been looking out and buying collections, so uh, keep your eyes open because, like I said earlier, there will be some more classic chaos stuff coming your way here in the catacombs. Also, this is always a pleasure to have. This is the Evil Ernie Wizard Half. It does not have the foil. It is glow-in-the-dark, and I do have the COA. Boom! Got one available right now. Absolutely love this cover. All the pieces of the glass of the television here glow in the dark. Um, I have seen variants where I've seen the text grow in the, glow in the dark. I've also seen it with green hollow foil or uh, uh, not hollow foil, but chrome foil in green. Um, I know there's other variants for a lot of these edition and that's the whole fun part about collecting some of the classics is trying to make sure you get all those cool little uh, premium editions Brian used to make back in the day. All right, here we go with the Lord of the Dance. All right, this is gonna be a uh, five pack for y'all. Get ready for Evil Learning War of the Dead. You get number one. You're gonna get number two. Oopsie. You're going to get number three, and you are going to get the Dynamic Forces variant cover as well as the uh, premium cover. Bam! All five covers available in the set. This is the first time I've ever touched one of these uh, Dynamic Forces Evil Learning covers, and I have been in the comic industry for uh, almost 30 years now, and beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. So whoever scoops up this set, is beautiful set, absolute beautiful set. All right, let's see what else do I got. Oh, let's see comics. Yes, I believe you do. Um, there is a one-time 10% discount. Jimmy, if you could uh, find the rules and reply that to, uh, see Eric Hart please uh, just so we can uh, click on the link and get the answers he may need thank you Jimmy dude Jason isn't it fun finding this old stuff I mean I met you back in the day and um, uh, I remember this stuff being new and, and seeing the like renaissance of people just really loving the uh, classic uh, chaos is absolutely amazing man so uh, yeah, it is cool to see this stuff. I, I can't believe that was my first ever uh, dynamic uh, dynamic forces variant come into my hands. It was absolutely beautiful. Uh, all right. As we uh, go from the classic and move into the modern era, I have a mock-up for all you beautiful people. It's from a very beautiful artist um, who owes me a drink because I gave him a challenge coin at Fan Fusion, and uh, he didn't have the coin. And he was at our booth of all places. It was like, dude, I can't believe you came to our booth without your coin. So if you are at a show and you have a challenge coin, I implore you to make sure you have it on you because you may have a sworn member come out and he may challenge you. And if you can't coin up, well, you know that man a drink. Doesn't need to be alcoholic. You need to be whatever they wish. But I'm telling you, we had two employees at our own booth. Bam, get coin. Mario was smart. He, he remembered, keep your coin. Tater Tot, Fabian, 
What's up with you guys? You didn't even bring your coin on Sunday. Anywho, I'd like to present to you Lady Death Gallery, Mike DeBalvo Pearl Raw Edition Mako. I got it up now. This is absolutely beautiful. Stunning work. Uh, this was a uh, edition from a previous Kickstarter. This is the mock-up for it. So uh, if you want it, come get it because this thing is beautiful. Ooh, stunning. Absolutely stunning piece. All right. Continuing the trends with the modern era here at Falcon Comics and Lady Death. This is a uh, sacrificial annihilation, naughty, bottoms up, metallic edition mock up. Boom. Got one ready for you guys right now. Right here, right now, only on the catacombs. My wife asked me to stop. Uh, Singing Wonderwall. I said maybe. <sighs> yes. If you are uh, watching our shows on YouTube, um, Jay brings up a very good point. Please leave it in the comments section while we're live or, you know, even anytime you watch it. I want to hear your dad jokes. Best dad jokes I will read on the air on Monday. And it's great because Brandy gets to cringe because we get to read it all out. Because I call that, that's part of my show, Dad Joke. So the YouTube channel on Mondays, please, in the comments section, leave your dad jokes. Hashtag dad jokes. Hashtag swarm. Uh oh Did you say it was Dad Joke Monday? There's only one day. Well, you don't do it anymore, so I do it Monday. I asked them nope. to post it in the show. Nope. Friday's only. What do you mean Fridays only? That's what I said. That's the rules. What? Fridays only. Dad joke Friday only. No, when yep. do you do take over my show? She's yep. taking over my show. Live You're on the air. You're welcome. Thanks for nothing. All right, you guys saw it here. Perth. Whoa, hey, hey. Daggers. Ching, ching. I got my Superman armor today for you. <laughs> Thank you, Brandy. Everyone. Love you. Love you, too. She's going to kill me. Call the police. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Hi. I mean, shoot. <laughs> All right, that was Brandy's entrance and segment of the show. She reminds me of like the eagle or one of the grumpy old men that always pops up in the Muppet show. Oh, my God, really? Tell Jason I said hi. Hi. Oh, okay. why don't you come in and say, everybody, Brandy Sparkles. Hi. There's her hands. Or her hand and fingers and ring. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, here he goes. For somebody who doesn't like to be on camera, she's on camera a lot. She mugs for the camera. This is Brandy. I'm afraid of the camera. I'm afraid. Of New kids on the block. New oh, kids on oh, the block. Oh, 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 oh. La, 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 you know, la, la. Who is currently playing in the Get warehouse? It out. They're currently out in the warehouse. You're welcome. Thank God I am. Way far away from the warehouse. All right, let's get back to the show. Enough of her shenanigans. She's going to kill me one of these days. All right, everybody. I have the last few prints of this beautiful edition by uh, Michael DePascali. Um, my notes for it uh, fell off somewhere, and I can't find it, so I apologize. But these are the last, I believe these are uh, 11 by 9 uh, prints. Uh, perhaps a little smaller. Anyways. <laughs> Brady's just thrown me off my game today. Why, everybody? Why, comic book gods? Why? All right. Scratch and Dent fans, well, here you go. Lady Death, Treacherous Infamy number two, premium foil, Scratch and Dent are available for you right now. Great deals, great deals. And my name ain't Neil. All right, and here we are. Let's go on with a Scratch and Dent of Cataclysmic Majesty premium foil. Very beautiful work by David Finch. Absolutely love and I'm glad we made this a premium foil edition. Also, here is the Cataclysmic Majesty number two Naughty Editions, and Brian just happened to sign this copy. Mm -hmm. Good deals, and it's signed. All right, what else do we got for you guys today? Oh, well, here we go. How about a copy of La Muerta Lives Volume 1 Scratch and Dent, available right now here in the Catacombs, and I also have a beautiful copy Scratch and Dent, but you know our Scratch and Dent still look beautiful. That's right, this is La Muerta Descent, Volume 1. This is a great introduction to our character, La Muerta. You want to get to go even more about it? This beautiful hardcover is a really great value. Just because it's Scratch and Dent doesn't mean 
you ain't got good quality art or good quality story. All right, everybody. Let me see if there's any comments before I go because my tummy's a rumbling and I got some uh, fried rice with some vegetables waiting for me. Ooh, 12.35. No wonder I'm so hungry. All right. Don't encourage your Eric for the love of God. Why? Why? You saw the video. We tried to stop her, Eric. Oh, God. I love you, but oh, God. Uh, limited prints for June email seems to have an artist error. Uh, one of the Palo Pantolina prints uh, has my chrome as the artist. Thank you, Jay, for bringing that up. Hey, uh, Jimmy, if you could uh, let that be known. Hey, what's up, Robert Bradford? How are you? Look at you. Let's see what else did I miss? But yeah, guys, don't encourage her with the kids on the block. Please, just stop. Jason, really? Come on, man, it's my show. When do I get to have the show without Brandy? Tell me. <laughs> all right, all right, you guys are just encouraging this. Dude, yeah, Lady Death Universe, you're darn right. Tanner, Fabian, boys, what did we tell you before Swarm Fest? Always have your coins with you. And what did we tell you before Phoenix Fan Fusion? Have your coins with you. Disappointment, boys. You're going to learn. You're going to learn because you guys both owe Miguel Apodaca something. I don't know what it is. I think he was just testing you, but I don't know. I think you boys should pay because, come on, you were even at our booth. Uh, DeBalfo, we'll talk later. Um, um, <laughs> so, get some Sabaton going. Yeah. Hi, Joel. How are you? Oh, my God. Look at all these great people. You know what, guys? I wish I had more time to spend with you, but um, just know this. Um, every Monday, every Wednesday is a great day because I get to spend it with you. Um, also, please join Jimmy and I on Fridays. Um, if we can get a signal uh, when we're at a con, we'll definitely do our uh, Friday, uh, Friday uh, product spotlight um, where we show you some of the new stuff we've got going live and maybe some old things. Uh, that have been rediscovered there over at the Coffin Comic Shop. So, and also join us here on Mondays on our YouTube channel, Coffin TV. Please uh, like and comment and stay and watch till the end. We're trying to do a little experiment with YouTube to try to kick us up a few notches. And again, while you're watching the YouTube um, channel, please uh, leave your best dad jokes and we will read them on the air Fridays, according to Brandy. But I'm going to talk to HR about that. Even doing live shows, I got an answer to Brandy. Anyways, everybody, it's been fun hanging out with you for the last half an hour. My name's Julian the Hooligan. Again, I apologize for my hoarse voice, but I was at con. I mean, if you saw me, yeah, I was doing a lot of yelling and screaming and singing. Anyways, I am sworn to you. Thank you, Jimmy, for all the uh, graphics and popping up uh, with the links for people. Uh, I will see you guys uh, Friday, maybe sooner, maybe later. I don't know. You never know what happens here at Coffin Comics. Anyways, I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out. Woo! Yay, I can still do my woos. <laughs> oh, good night, everybody. Why won't my fingers do the